understand it, future cities, is that you are to in build and invent a city that's 150 years into the future. Yes. Right? 150 yep. years into the future. And you have to build a virtual city online, you have to build a model, you have to be able to tell more about your idea in front of a panel of judges, and you have to take on a really hairy engineering problem. So each year they give a challenge, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So yep. anyone tell us so this year's challenge? So, so this year's challenge was rethinking runoff. And so runoff occurs when hard surfaces, like streets and sidewalks, prevent rainwater from being soaked into the earth. In the past, it used to either get soaked into the earth, or the water would flow down the hills into streams and rivers. But as our cities have grown, so have our problems. So for one problem, there's more impervious cover, so less rainwater can get soaked into the ground. And instead, it flows down the concrete or the rooftops. And it picks up pesticides and fertilizers and other pollutants. So now we're sending polluted water into our streams and rivers. It's a huge problem in today's society and has been a growing problem since the beginning of civilization. And 150 years from now, I think it's going to be better or worse? I think it will be if our idea, if they end up using our, our idea, idea. <laughs> it will be much better. But, but without your idea, but it's a really big problem. Without our idea, it would be much worse. So. <laughs> uh, Dylan, you want to take us through the idea? Well, when our team was presented with the challenge of more effectively dealing with runoff, we began a brainstorm of new, innovative ways to solve this problem. And eventually, after some trial and error, we invented the hydroflap system. The hydroflaps are transparent, impervious panels installed to the sides of some of the buildings. And the way they work is when it's sunny, the hydroflaps remain upright to allow sunshine and fresh air to flow through the city, preventing a greenhouse effect. But when rain is predicted, the hydroflaps deploy over the streets to collect all of the rainwater. And once the rainwater is collected, it is filtered so it can be used for residential purposes, such as washing your hands or getting a drink of water. And then the gray water from that is used to turn a turbine below the city to generate electricity for our city. And so this simple practical system was perfect for our city because it not only solved the runoff problem but also provided our city with electricity water and less water pollution because the water never even touches the ground it's not hard to imagine that in about 150 years there could be hydroflaps on buildings all over the world yes it's important in every society to have a healthy water supply for drinking for nature and for agriculture and so our invention not only helps um, not only helps prevent storms and floods and pollution, but it also increases the amount of usable clean water that's available. And so we took it to the next level. And creates an energy source. Yes, it creates right? an energy source. So you guys source. went the triple whammy. So it wasn't oh, yeah. just solving the problem, but you actually decided to take on a whole other piece of the solution as well, yes. which is using the gray water then as a hydro source, right? Yes. Um, it, and the model will be available so for you guys to see on the break and again at the party afterwards. There are several other models as well. There were several, um, again, a remarkable and extraordinary um, uh, uh, what do we call it? submissions that were done by these amazing teams. But do we have a camera that actually can see on this? I don't know if we're doing it. Um, but what Everest is actually pushing right now is the God switch. And the God switch will actually activate this and you'll be able to see it. And again, it'll be better if you can see it a person. But if you can see it right now, it's raining in their model. Isn't that cool? The water will actually go under the model and turn a turbine to generate enough electricity to light it up. It's hard to see now, but if you got a closer look, you could see the whole thing happening. It'll take a little um, while. And the little flaps are right in there, so there's a little piece here that goes up and down depending on the rain. Isn't that cool? I know. Well, you guys are both then. Um, Sixth grade? Sixth graders at Westridge Middle School. And so about as sixth graders at Westridge Middle School. Does that feel good that the future is in really, really good hands? The as you can see, the lights on. also turned on. So. so now the power, the, the, it turns the power that lights up the city. Um, these, uh, again, this team of three was, uh, uh, scored the highest points in their engineering solution and in the model that they built, which I think is absolutely fair. I think the judges did a darn good job. So great job. Congratulations, guys. We're really proud of you, and we can't wait to see it up close. It's really magnificently built. I hope you guys get a chance to see it soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.